So here's one thing I wanted to address. With Olympus, like I've been playing for a long time. I've, I've been playing since 2014. I've been, I'm pre-wipe. All right, so I, I already told Intent this, but uh, now that Cooper's here and Lopez is here. So in the last year, I've noticed, like I haven't been playing much in the last six months. I just started playing again but uh, mm -hmm. because I started my trip and everything. But in the last year, like everything's become such a bitch. Like everyone's just whining and crying over everything. It's so annoying. And everyone's out. Everyone's always been out to get everyone on, on cop. That's always been a thing. But this, like, everyone's going after everyone for petty shit now. Like, it no, used to be a big, so I, I'll, I'll used to be a big deal. Yeah, I'll tell you something, like, today that just happened. So, Sandman and some other dude was restrained because it was a hostage situation. Oh, but, yeah. That was part of this. Yeah, it was like, I'm not calling him out. I'm just like, he just kind of got mad. I'm like, bro, why are you mad? Like, he said I was wasting his time, but, like, he's in a hostage situation. And either way, he got, like, go. Like, I'm not, like, I was running him over, but, like, I don't know, like, what I did wrong. And he's, like... <laughs> I was running him over. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> no, no, he was getting mad at it. I'm, like, I don't know, like, I'm not, like, killing you. I'm not, like, stopping you from, like, revving people. Cause no one, it was, like, early in the morning. No one's dying. Little same, man. Not the, not the depth chief. No, no, it's uh, uh, a uh, basic. Uh, the, uh, okay, I thought you were talking about Deb Chief Sandman. Mm -mm. But Scribble, I, I can so much 100% agree with you on that. Like old Olympus, like McDilly Olympus, like I, yeah. even before that, like um, that. The, yeah, I, it, it's yeah. so it's changed so much, dude. So it's so much. Tox toxic. It, yeah, and the. Beforehand, it was adults running it and adults being admins and adults being... It was pretty much adult ran. And exactly. now, like, all, all the adults have, like, moved on. And I say adults as in, like, 30, 30 and plus up. 30 years old and up. And when you when you have, like, the maturity of life in you, you know? Right. As a 32 year old satirian complains about a video game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're like the same age as me, right? Aren't you? Like no, 30 something? No, I'm, I'm 21. Uh, I, thought you, I thought you were that old. Mm -hmm. But uh, but anyway, like it was, it was ran by adults, it was managed by adults. And then as the adults started leaving, the kids started running it. So now you have, seen, you have 17, 18, 19 year old senior APD members that are in it for a buddy system and they only they only play with their friends they only promote their friends that was a big thing for a long time yeah and and so it's just like and then now everyone's just complaining about everything and it's so dumb like all right here here's my story about what happened yesterday i believe um all right so last night they there was a bank which there's always a bank and the bank was being done by bw which not a big deal you know who cares so at the same time they tried calling a hostage situation which is perfectly fine because the bank is not a federal event however it does fall it does follow federal event rules so they had a hostage and i i roll up with another deputy with my gun it's on my back and we roll up dark because you know that that to engage if we roll up dark for the first the first wave so we go in there and as we pull up he's like hey what are you guys doing with those guns on your back are you the negotiator i'm like no i'm not a negotiator and uh so he's like if you um if you come in this cage i'm gonna kill the medic i'm like okay do whatever man and then i so i walk into the cage and i start walking into the bomb room he's like if you start defusing i want to kill the medic and so I started defusing, and he's like, and he's like, well, that's a failed hostage situation. Like you weren't, uh, you weren't valuing the medic's life, and you have to value their life now. I'm like, technically, no. Like if you want to try to pull logistics and technicalities on me, like I can do them right back to you. Because first off, the a bank and a hostage situation, neither one are um, obligated. You're not obligated to go to either one of them. So, right. Um, and. Second off, the the high the highest rank on has to delegate a negotiator, 
and our highest rank on at the time I think was a corporal, which didn't assign anybody to go to a hostage situation. Therefore, none of the hostage situation rules applied because no one was told or obligated to be the negotiator. So, so even though there was a hostage situation, I don't know. We're, I'm waiting to see. This happened last night. Sort of waiting to see what happens. But they said they're going to report. And I'm like, okay, go ahead. So if if the highest rank on delegated like they're supposed to, then yeah, I would have brought my I would have put my gun away and done it, done the hostage situation. But since it was not assigned like it is supposed to be, that I'm going for the bomb defusal. Well aware of a of a hostage situation being on, but I'm not a negotiator. I wasn't assigned to a negotiator. Nobody was. So, and we weren't going for the intention of being a negotiator. So they they tried calling. So the, on the on the technicality of a failed host situation, no, it's not because it says it. Let, let me. I can find it real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead with your story intent. What you're saying? Why find this? But you. But you're still probably going to get somehow. You know that <clears throat> that favoritism deal is going to come back and. Oh well, you know. Yeah. Oh, you you you've broke this another rule recently, so now you know what we're gonna hit you with another br- rule break. And so, yeah. and and I feel I and you know the the way that I see it is I I don't you know there's those scummy gangs. Oh yeah, Olympus. Um, absolutely, that will do they, anything. They, yeah, they've been the rules. In, I mean, it doesn't matter as much as they can. Yeah, they they've been the rules like, and do the technicality of it and everything. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you're a medic, a cop. They're just going to do this shit just to try to get you in trouble. Which I, why, okay, why so, has it come to that? You know. All right, here's here's the here's the hostage situation rules for this is out of the APD handbook, chapter four, uh, hostage situations. Um, we're we're gonna skip the like rules of it where it says um, hostage situations are active whenever somebody sends a dispatch and things you can't do the due to the negotiator um all the way down to three says the apd negotiator is delegated by the highest ranking apd member on at the time once delegated the negotiator must show up unarmed after notifying hostage takers uh, yeah show up unarmed after notifying the hostage takers so right since the highest rank did not delegate and there was no once delegated because nothing was delegated mm-hmm. that we did not have to show up unarmed because right. we were not assigned. So like, if you want to pull technicalities on me, I can do it right back. But Hey, uh, another technicality here is you never, you never um, told them that you were coming to the hostage. You never texted one of them saying, Hey, you know, right. I'm going to be the negotiator or whoever X, Y, Z is going to be the negotiator. We're yep. on our way. Keep the hostages safe until we get there. We'll negotiate. That was never said. And you just said it right there. I mean, it's clearly in the rules. Yeah. Right. And um, so if if it was delegated, then valuing the life of a hostage would have taken place. But since it was never delegated, it was never taken place. And it never needed to be. So... Yeah, well, it, that's that's because the scummy gangs are breaking off into smaller scummy gangs. Exactly, because uh, these yeah, these big gangs have something that's happened internally that's gotten them in trouble, or they've disbanded or whatnot. So you know, like you're saying, they've gone off and made little ones. But like I was yeah. saying, um, it doesn't matter if you're a medic, if you're a cop, you know, I- anything faction wise, they're gonna try to do some some shady. Yeah, they're gonna so they're gonna to try to your ranks just to exactly. Get your rank they're, just they're they're gonna bend I mean, the rules I, on technicalities to do it. I it, I totally agree, and I've noticed a ton of it lately. And it's like, why, 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 why do that to you know? Why do that to the community? Yeah, and like right now, like I have I have so many videos that I could turn in on Corporals Plus that could easily get them demoted. But you know, like I'm not a scummy little crybaby, and I'm not going to do that. It's hard. To, it's hard to get up there, um, and it's hard to maintain it. So, like if you know, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fuck you over for your hours and hours of hard work that you've done, just because you didn't process me correctly. You know. And 
like people will go out there to like search for that just to get yes people to and that's what i'm saying like do. these gangs are are doing these things intentionally right. just to intentionally get your rating away because they think it's fun yeah they, they think they yeah they they set things up purposely as a rule bend yeah like do you think they could make a rule to like kind of fix that or is it going to be impossible uh they can yes and no um yeah they yes they can but any time that there's any kind of rule of anything there's always going to be a gray area or a loophole to it there's always going to be so like the more defined you make a rule the more loopholes you actually make it's kind of it's kind of a catch-22 and uh, trust me I- I- any any scummy gang olympus will find a loophole i like if there's any kind of loophole that's ever here, in anything ever, right here. Olympus here's, Gain's gonna find it. Yeah, here, here's a big one right here. When you word something between can and should, oh that, my. that's that's a big one right there. Exactly. They, um, because they're two completely different words. Like, you can go to a bank robbery, or you should go to a bank robbery. You know, like, okay, I can, doesn't mean I have to. Exactly. You know? I mean, and that's that's the kind of technicality they're going to go off of. And that's what I don't know. That's what. And gets that's me. and that's that's what I'm fighting my my hostage situation case with off of technicality. Uh, and it was the 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 key word would be delegated. They, yeah. It was never delegated, so it was never set in place. It doesn't I mean, matter. It, it doesn't matter if I'm if I have full knowledge that there's a hot situation at a bank robbery or not. It was never delegated. Yeah. According to the technicality that you want to do a hot situation at a bank robbery, uh-huh. so now if you want to, if you want to play the technical game, I can too. I exactly. just don't do it because I'm not a little bitch. You know, I now I don't know exactly who who does rules, who does rules. I mean, I don't know if you know they vote on it. You know, like if it comes up in the. I mean, you, yes, you they, might they, you they might do. know that's uh, scribble. I do. They want me to explain it to you. Yeah, go ahead because right. I, I want something to go off of that. This, got this is this is that. pretty much why the civ councils were made, because it was, it was there's a thirty thousand forum member base, and right. th- this is over this is over the six years Olympus has been alive. Thirty thousand members. When you have thirty thousand members saying, "Do this, change this. I want this. Can we have that? We make this." You got thirty thousand people saying that. So they they made, and they were trying to implement as requests came in, like if if this is a good request, if it's not, kind of thing, and and it kind of formed Olympus to what it is now. Um, and then so instead of having that, there's so many people complaining about technicalities, pretty much. Um, they they formed the it was originally just the Civ Roundtable, it was, um, or the Civ Civ Council, which was. Uh, I think it was Deadpool that ran it. He, like he runs it now, I think. So, but it was just him and anybody that had any problems or questions or wanted something or needed something or if we could implement something, it would always go through Deadpool. He had like a form thing signed up and everything, and so you just fill out the form and it goes to him. And then he um, takes he takes out like all the crap, like all the stupid stuff. Like, can we have tanks? No, you can't have tanks. So like he, he takes all that stuff out and then he would take it to. It, and everything follows a chain, chain of command. So he would take it to um, the moderators. The moderators, moderators would take it to the admins. Admins would take it to um, the designers and developers. And then the developers, the developers and admins would create the rule based on the request or create the create whatever was needed off the request and then implement it. And then it would be approved by the owner. That's that's how it works. So now, okay. so now there's a now there's a round uh, there's a sieve round table of every faction. I think They're, not every faction, but every there's a Vigi one, a sieve one, a scat one. Uh, I don't know what they all are, but now there's four different ones, and they it's 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 sort of like um, this is the progress I was talking about earlier about how Olympus formed, because it was only Deadpool, and everyone made everything to only Deadpool, and so now mm-hmm. Deadpool runs the whole thing, and um, so now all the sibs get together, and so the they submit all their requests to the sib council, and then the sibs delegate all the they wean out all the crap, and then they they go okay here Deadpool this is we weaned everything out this is the really good stuff here, go run with it 
And so he then it goes up the chain like so. Same with scats and vigies and, and whatever else there is. Cartels, I think. So, right. so, so that's, that's how that works. So it's the same process, just an extra step now. Right. And so they, so I, so they, and, they have their, they have their little, they have their own like little meeting, uh, civ council meetings like every week or whatever, and they go over everything. And then, um, there's staff meeting, there's staff meetings every other week, and then the corresponding weeks are senior APD meetings. You know that makes that kind of rule, like you said, should and can. You know, like it has two totally hypocritical meanings on each side. Um, right. That. That basically means all these people involved in this process are basically hypocrites because yes, how and that's and that's been a it fight went through for all the these people to get approved. It, it went to all these people and they all said mm-hmm. yes and and that's been and the federal events are, is one of the biggest thing. It's it's been such an argument for the longest time. Like uh, Fed, Fed and Blackwater. It's been a, it's been the thing for the longest time and it's ongoing and it's still ongoing. Uh, about the balance of it so and pledge um, I'll bring pledge into this Pre- pledge actually made a really good argument to me um, I don't know this is like almost a year ago um, before he was before he was chief and I think I was corporal and I think it was before I was even staff but he made a really good argument to where um, for a federal event that if he wanted to say so he was a sergeant or lieutenant or something if he wanted to very first wave of a federal event he could take out 10 striders if he wanted to Mm -hmm. so but you know we apd gives a chance you know you have bigger guns we have no nlr and you have bigger guns so that that was the balance bigger guns no nlr that's the balance for that so if if we want if they really wanted to they could pull out 10 striders and 10 hunters for first wave if they wanted to but they don't they they the maturity of the seniors balance it out cuz now i see seniors driving around in ghost hawks and striders just because and it didn't right. used to be like that at all so it so it's balanced it's always been balanced it's just you got the one person that that finds the technicalities like, oh, I can take out ten of these on my first wave, so I'm going to, and then you get the civs that complain that it's unbalanced. And then once it's approved, and they still get outnumbered or outgunned or whatever, then they go crying that they need to change it again because it's out under, it's not balanced. Like you just fought for the, you just fought for this. Like, what do you mean it's unbalanced? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You it's so not, and, it's and, and then a, at like, the ending loop. That's, that's going to yeah, well, that's why I said it's, it's been going on for years. Like um, when I when I was staff. They, I could, it it was the topic every, it was one of the topics every single meeting was the balance between federal events and cops. And it's been like that forever. And it, it, it will never change, so, to be honest. It'll, it'll always be one person will find technicality and then somebody will complain. Sis, Sis will complain that uh, cops are too OP, cops will complain that civs are too OP, and it's going to go on forever. It'll never be balanced. Um, oh, no, and, and, and don't get me wrong. Before I was a cop, I thought cop was, like, so overpowered. Like, change cop, change cop, change cop. But if you, if you would ask me from, from then and now, after I've been a cop, there's so much more... The, the, yeah, there, I don't know, the, there's the so many rules. The, yeah, there's so like, many rules, like the the engagement rule, which I which actually this is another technicality, um, for cop engagement rules. They which you guys have actually done this today, but you know I'm not a I'm not a crybaby, so I don't really care. Um, the server rules will always oversee handbook rules. They because it. it the handbooks are faction based and the server is server based there's the server rules are server based so in the in the server rules the engagement ends upon death that and that's exactly what it says so whenever you whenever a cop rolls into town and you guys engage him and kill him 
if they come back and not code three, you cannot shoot them again. Even though you're within the five minute um, five minute engagement, they were they were killed. Engagement ends. So right. if they come back not code three, you have to re engage them again. But people think, well, they came back under the five minute engagement, we're still engaged. No. You're not. And that's one of the technicalities. They and so if you want to if people want to go off technicalities, they can get any cop that comes back not code three and is not verbally engaged and is not in, verbally engaged that they can report anybody that kills them when they come back to to a non red zone because uh-huh. they because according to the server rules which oversees any handbook rule engagement ends upon death damn yeah i mean you're honestly correct i mean uh, yeah. and, and, I, and i'll be and, and i'll be you, honest you guys do it all the time like like you guys like you guys see me on cop Absolutely. i don't fuck with you guys you know you guys don't fuck with me like i kavala Kavala is one of the places you have to pick your battles in Kavala, and I would rather have friends in Kavala than enemies. Yeah, so absolutely. if I yep. if I see if I see anybody, I don't care if it's real, I don't care if it's BW, I don't care if it's tree, I don't care if it's some fucking random. I'm not gonna go after anybody that can pay off their bounty at a courthouse or if some random dipshit running around with the MK1. Like I'm I'm choosing my battles. I'm not gonna get into a big fucking gunfight in the middle of Kavala over a fucking illegal weapon. And so many, and, and it's like it's so the the fact about cop being money driven when you're, I mean, especially now when you're a deputy, and, and usually when you're a deputy, you know, you're grinding for the hours, but you're also grinding. You've probably joined this faction. Because reputation, you need money, and, yeah, and well, reputation, well, it, and because yeah. you need some source of income instead of doing having yeah. to do runs a lot. So you know, a lot of them get in there. And these deputies are just so money hungry, man. They just want oh yeah, for anything sure. Anything and everything. If if you've got a bounty and you've got a legal weapon in Kavala, I'm not going to name this ahead. one cop. I'm not going to name this one cop, but I gotta let me let me break into a story real quick because this this is based off of money hungry cops. Um, but I don't remember if I was a cop or not. But I was I was high up in the ranks. I was well known. I was well liked. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was before I was staff, but I was I was a senior medic. I was I don't know if I was cop or not. I can't remember, but um, Grandma Gary's house blew up. You know the one the one the house with the chair. Yeah. So yeah. and so I was I was a senior medic at the time because um, I was on civ and one of the medics came to me with a video or something and so so I was I had a seventy I think it was seventy four thousand five hundred dollars I had it just under Vigi and I kept it like that I wanted it to be just under Vigi so they couldn't get me so it so it was five hundred dollars shorter and I'm running around town I'm I'm running around town for hours no none of the Vigi's messing with me because they can't take me in they none of the none of the known cops or the OG cops so to speak would mess with me because they're like he's he's, he's got. 22 assaults and like one robbery i'm not gonna deal with this shit you know and so so i'm i'm tabbed or i'm not tabbed out but i'm like i'm paying attention to whatever who i was talking to in team speak um and i'm sitting on grandma gary's chair i'm I'm just sitting there my gun's on my back everything's just i'm not i'm not messing with anybody i'm not taunting anybody i'm just chilling i'm yeah i'm just i'm just sitting there dealing with some medic thing and then all of a sudden this cop I can see this cop. I have two recordings of it, actually. And this cop comes up, and he stops in the middle of the road, like the Vigis do, checks checks my bounty, comes over to me, and goes, he goes, howdy, partner, I'm going to need you to put your hands up. I saw you on a water poster. Like, all right, look here, stupid. Hey, I haven't done anything. I don't have an illegal gun. Like, I got my bounty just under a Vigi. Yeah, it hasn't, it has been like that. So, go the fuck away. <laughs> and... But wow. he ended up he ended up coming after me and tasing me for seventy four thousand dollars seventy four thousand five hundred dollars. It's not even and worth I, it. I mean, and, I, and I've been yeah. I've I've been in I've been in the city for hours, you know. <laughs> so, like whatever, man. It's crazy. And um, that was actually one thing when Rex was chief. I was actually talking to him about that because the whole even though it's a light RP server, though I saw you on a wonder poster bullshit. Like, because people are people are trying to get around that, which is why they wear the full face masks or the full helmets and everything, so they can't uh-huh. say I saw you on one post. It's like, how how'd you see me on one post? I have a mask on, you know. So they can't use that excuse. 
And so I was talking to Rex, and I was like, all right, man, like, this is becoming a problem. The, I know we all know it's a light RP server, and it's just an excuse to get a bounty, you know, so I don't want to post or blah, blah, blah. So we were talking about maybe putting, like, a bulletin board of just, like, random photos, you know, like a, like a bulletin board of wanted people or... Right, yeah. Just, just even, even of just, like, a shadow. You know, you could roleplay a shadow of a person, you know? So it's like, oh, I saw you on a wanted post. I see it's right here on the board. So, you know, we were, we were actually talking about that, you know, if because because the I saw you on a wanted poster was becoming so outrageous and like and ridiculous, right? right. That, and so we were talking about doing something like that, but then he retired out of chief before before we could even implement anything like that. But uh, uh, but that's kind of that's that's the suggestions I like giving and hearing and talking about. Like I don't give a shit about skins and what gun's better than another gun. Like yeah. Hey, this is, I know it's a light RP server, but you got to throw you got to throw some kind of bone in there for it to to enhance the light RP. I mean, mm-hmm. if you want a light RP, it's like oh, yeah, there's oh, a wanted yeah. poster. The only wanted poster in the server is in Grandma Gary's house. It's the only wanted poster in the server. All right. Well, Anybody else? have any? Uh, which well, that pretty much covers everything I have. Like I want to go over over the rule skirting. Like it's not even skirting. It's more it's more of a rule bend. So, you know. They they want they want to try to set up technicalities by calling a hot situation within a federal a so called federal event. You know it's it's not a fed event because it's not mandatory, but it does follow fed rules. So, um, which if you guys didn't know, the bank is actually getting moved because really? yes, because um, if since the bank is not a federal event and the jail is. If um, if somebody starts a jail and a bank, we cannot split them. We have to we have to go to the jail. And but if we're already if we're if we're already going to the bank, the jail takes priority anyway because the bank's not mandatory. Right. But if like say we have people pinned down or somebody at the at the bank or they're they're keeping somebody tased until somebody can go restrain them, they and a jail starts. We cannot go into the jail because the bank is inside the circles. So we have to follow wave roll to the jail, which we can't do if somebody's at the bank. Jesus. Wow. So, yeah, so, I mean, I kind of got the idea of this, yeah. but I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. And so, and even though they're two separate, they're two completely different things, it's still inside the rings. So yeah. we can't go. And, 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 you, and you've, I mean, you've seen it firsthand, I'm sure, Scribble, that mm-hmm. people start a start jail. Do yeah, a bank. It's, it's all based on technicality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, it, literally, a bank is happening right there. Something you can go make money at, but as a cop, we, we can easily but go you stop. Can't, yeah, and but you we can't cannot go. go. Yeah, so so right so, so they are gonna they are moving it. They're trying to That's find good. another. They're trying to find a good place. So what I what I would really like to do is if this is my idea. That move salt processing, which is at that mansion, even though there's a lot of doors and rooms mm-hmm. and random shit. I mean, it it's a mansion. It looks like a bank. It's got the big fountain out front. It's got the staircase. It's got all the rooms. It's got all, so it's got all the hiding spots for to rob a bank. So right. move salt, move salt somewhere. I don't really care where you move it to. Move it to anywhere, because um, right. right. it, it can go. It can go anywhere, and then put the bank there. So. Because uh, in the original Altus map, before like the, just the default one, that's actually a rebel outpost. That mansion is. I can see it. Yeah. You know, I've also got a few. But well, before I before I go on that, um. But yeah, I and, you know I was very 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 disappointed. In what? That that they what they chose for the building. They just threw it in the office building. Oh yeah, and it's so yeah, aged very because people just dude. people just get on the roof, and uh, you can't like that. That's the one thing. That's the only advantage that people have is because we can't get on the roof. There's only one way on there without a helicopter, and yeah. you can't. There's no time to climb up it, get behind something, and take somebody. So if you have the roof power, especially with a heli on top, you're it's an easy win. Yeah, because so, because we can't I, get up there to restrain you. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't know how hard it is. You know, I'm not, like, trying to make this sound easy, like, you know, just throw a building down somewhere. But, I mean, I understand this is unmodded, 
you know, this mm-hmm. is not modded at all. And that's server, what makes Olympus so great, is because it is there, not a modded server. But there is there is so so many more great non modded, you know, vanilla buildings that are in the game. And I'm not I don't know how hard it is, but you could at least set one somewhere or set uh, the, it up the, somehow the long and make buildings. a new bank in, in a different one. Um, you know the the long houses, the the wood houses with the two doors and it's right, got a door right. in the middle of the fireplace. Those are the only buildings that can be edited on a default server. Um, so oh, really, you can make, yes, it, like the the four craters and the broken down buildings and like they they can't be edited. Only that's why if you've done the Easter egg, I don't know if you have or not. Uh-huh. They, yeah, that's why. Uh, well, all the Easter eggs are on those houses, those long houses. Uh, what, uh, what is it like a? It's a three crater, two crater, something like that. It's like uh-huh. but, yeah, but you, you know what houses I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know what houses you're talking about. It's it's the log houses with the two doors in the fireplace, in the door yeah. in the door in the middle. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so, those are the only ones well, that can be edited. And so when when you try to find the symbols and all that, it's it's always going to be on those houses because those are the only ones that can they can have stuff done to them. But what I'm saying is, why not choose a different building? I mean, they don't edit the buildings. They just put, you know, vanilla Stuff objects in, that are right in the game. That, well, that that's that's, that's why I su- the one. And the- yeah, that's that's why I suggest move salt because, like, people people do salt because nobody does it. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah. But it, yeah. but that building can be used for so many other things. Like I, I can see the I can see why you wouldn't want it to be an outpost or a cartel or something because there is so many hiding spots, but for a specialty mm-hmm. thing like a bank, it'd be perfect. There is there's hills oh, yeah. there yeah, there's high ground there's low ground there's hiding places there's rooms there's balconies, you know there it'd be a good fair fight. You can get it you can get on the high ground on the north side, and shoot into the building, or you can get on the back side of it and go into the building. So it'd be completely fair. There's no, there's no disadvantage of sitting on a roof and shooting people as they come up a ladder, you know. And I think I haven't been there in a while, but I think like right in the in the lobby, so to speak, or the front room, whatever it is. I think there's like a desk and stuff there. I I don't remember, but you have to go there and check. But I think there is stuff right there in in the front room, so you could set the you set the vault there. Put a put a cage in the middle, um, with a with a single door. And then put the vault inside. Easy peasy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But but you know you know something I think would be really cool what? is there's there's not any kind of federal. I mean I guess besides like besides like uh, pharmaceutical. But I think it would be kind of cool just to throw the bank and throw a building, you know, a vanilla building, out in like way up there in the mountains up by meth and stuff. Have the bank yeah, up but- there. But if it, it did like that, super... nobody would do it. Nobody would do it, and, it would, and since the bank timer is so short, um, yeah, it's and it's true. so easy that nobody would nobody would go up there. Like you'd have I to be a corporate to go up there. I did forget about the ten minute timer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I did. I mean, you could that. you could always extend the timer, but then you're turning it into a federal event because right. Um, Blackwater's twenty five minutes. Fed, um, federal Reserve is twenty minutes, and bank is fifteen. So if you make it anything higher than ten. That you know you're looking at uh, maybe maybe twelve, but if you do another fifteen, then it becomes a federal event. Yeah, exactly. So and then yeah, I did forget about that point, apply. but I just thought that would be like cool, like the bank in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, well I mean, like, cops had to like be chasing you to the cost country and shit, you know. Yeah, um, and that that's a, again why I suggest that mansion because you can spawn Blackwater, and it's that's it's true, not too yeah. far, it's not too far, not too close, you know. There, and you can land a heli there, but um, there's only a number of places you can land it, so it gives an advantage to the cops. You can't just sit on the roof and take off with the money, you know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I that, that would be a great spot. I mean, I agree with you 100% there. 